So Mike, tell us a little bit about Carlisle and what you guys actually do. I know we talked a little bit about the truck show, but tell us a little bit about the conference coming up. The other yeah, we were founded in 1974 by a couple of guys that just happened to share the same last name, Bill Miller and uh, Chip Miller. Now, they started this company in 1974 because in 1973, Bill and Chip went to the Fall Hershey Show, which is a big automotive flea market, uh, a lot of pre-war cars in Hershey. But uh, they were selling a 50s era Corvette. And for a couple of guys in the 70s that were in their 20s, a car from the 50s was old, if you followed me there. But it wasn't a pre-war car. So the Hershey people basically said, you guys need to take that car off the ground here. It needs to go. And they thought, well, maybe we should go find a place where we can do shows for guys like us that like the cars. And in 1974, with uh, some, some loan, loan money and a, a rented fairgrounds, they started what was then called Post War 74. It's what we now know as Paul Carlisle. And uh, the, the rest is kind of history from there. They, they added uh, an equivalent event, Spring Carlisle, in 1976, 1982, we launched Corvettes at Carlisle, which is our flagship automotive show. And uh, from there, we, we've added uh, an important performance show. We have a Ford show, Chevrolet show, Chrysler show, truck show, and we also do an event in Lakeland, Florida. Plus, we have four collector car auctions on our schedule. And uh, you mentioned being from Long Island, a show that we actually see a lot of turnout from the, from the island area. We have, we have a small swap meet event in Allentown in January called Automania at the Allentown Fairgrounds. And that one's one where it's so much easier for people from the city and from the island and from Philadelphia to come up and, uh, and, and check out some of the indoor shopping. So we offer a little bit of something for everybody. And uh, I mentioned Corvettes in Carlisle. That's kind of one of those shows that it's internationally known for what it offers. And if you're a Corvette enthusiast, I know we're talking short today, in a couple of weeks, starting August 22nd, we have the Corvette show here, and you're going to have uh, two C8 Corvettes. They were just released and, and announced a couple of days ago, and uh, Team Chevrolet is bringing two here to the grounds, and it's going to be the first car show that those cars have been to. They've been to a lot of you know, dealerships of the dealer yes. tour and special you know, concourse type events, but this is the first enthusiast car show where anybody can see those Corvettes. The Corvette, I got a, a, I got a request to... Uh, for me to sell someone in Corvette. That was that two foot four this morning. Oh wow. Yeah. And I was sleeping. Every course. I was sleeping at the fair fill in, but it was nice and it was very cuddly yeah. with that bed, by the way. Big shot to Marriott. <laughs> I told the guy it's fire. He goes, I need that Chevy ASAP. I'm dropping the deposit. So no problem. Well there you go. Tell him to come here in August and he can see two of them in person and talk to Team Chevrolet. Oh um They'll be here, but August? That's close. August 22nd. Oh, we'll be here. All of a sudden, it's August already. By the yeah, way. I know. Holy I know. <laughs> so we're gonna have to come out of here. Snuck right up. We have to come back. But you know, the play. We have to come out here at the show, the truck show. Though you walk around, and there's so many different types of trucks. You'll see. 40s and 50s era trucks, but then you'll see modern day trucks, and it's such an awesome blend of what people do. You get the original, you get the custom, you get the restorations, uh, lowered, lifted, cool custom vans, the big rigs, the monster trucks. There's there's a little bit of something for everybody, and then we get great partners like a a Auto Stores, which come and they not only are the presenting sponsor for the show, but then they also do on-site installs. So you can get the exhaust from Dorla, and Corsa, and MagnaFlow, and Billy Boat. You can get all that stuff put on your truck. You can get tires put on your truck. We we have uh, Turo Tires here sponsoring our burnout contest. You get uh, ranch hand uh, bumpers and you get, uh, I mean, I, I, American Force wheels. Everybody, it's hard for me. I think, like Ed Shawley, who runs the show, so give it all the sponsor names in. Right. We, we have so, so he, many. Yeah. What's his name? Ed Shawley. We need to get his business card. I'll try. <laughs> I'm sorry, him. he can teach me a thing or two. I, you know, we, we get all of these partners in here and they come because they recognize that this is that one stop That's destination. Yeah, Where right. else are you going to touch, you know, thirty or 40,000 people Enthusiast. and 2,000 truck buy owners? Products. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Ed knows what he's doing. Sense. I think so. Yeah, we're gonna get Ed on here. He can start promoting his brands up here, that all his sponsors. But you know, if the weather's turning out really beautiful. I don't know what the weather channel out here was talking about that there's gonna be rain. I don't see any rain in the forecast. It's actually a nice day. That it's partly cloudy. It's not too hot. The sun is not beaming on you, so you need to come out. It's a perfect day for you. Yeah. Well, and that and that's the most important part for any car show, not just our car show. But you get people that everybody's a weatherman now. They, yeah. they get out their phone. They look at their weather app. They actually point at it. Of it's raining at my house, so I'm not going to go to the place I want to go 
because it's raining at my house. Exactly. He, I hate that. It kills the whole event. Give yeah. a truck. Ooh. And it's fifty percent. You lose fifty percent of the people because once the weatherman puts that out, it's not as we always say. It's not the weather. It's the forecast. Yeah. Right. Exactly. It's the forecast. That does there you go. Thing. They're forecasting. It. It's called projections and forecasts. <laughs> You're projecting it to be raining, but I don't think Look, it's I have around. a communications degree, but I will forecast a nice day the rest of the day. So there you go. Based there on my go. forecast, get out here. That's exactly. Good. Or get out to any part. Yeah, don't let the rain stop. No. Here. So I'm going to come down and stop by uh, the Team Venom booth and say hello here today. Right. And this Team Venom okay. booth, if anybody wants to come see y'all, you're uh, you're near what we call Building R, and it's I C row spaces like 14, 15, and 16. So uh, you get out here, you got the Northeast Titan Car Club, Truck Club here, and uh, they're hanging out with their trucks, and you get a nice view of all the trucks and some of the other nice scenery that the truck show has to offer. And Literally trucks as far as the eye can see. Oh my God, there's so many different types of trucks. I mean, they got them all. Ford, Nissan, they got them all, all different types of trucks. Which is great. Chevy, I just saw a nice Ford Scout that drove by. Uh, drove by. Uh, and like I said, there's a family. Well, you mentioned scouts, um, when you get up and you get around, you find our concession scouts. There's actually a guy, I don't even know what the place is, haven't talked to him yet, could have been an FJ Cruiser, but he's made it look like an old school scout. You know how people were taking the modern day Camaros and making them look like banded Trans Ams. Yeah. So this guy has taken whatever it was, uh, you know, an FJ Cruiser, and has made it look like a scout. Oh, I you know, international scout, so it's I'm really, really cool. Pop over there, definitely. It's this a like green, huge. green. How big is the show? I mean, how much? I mean, how many miles? Okay, so there's like 16 miles of paved roadways oh here at the God. fairgrounds. He's scaring me already. Where's the golf cart? Oh, you, I'm taking that's that. mine. You can't have it. <laughs> it's actually not even mine. I stole it from a coworker. You see that? Um, 80, 8,100 of these spaces, these 10 by 30 spaces. Um, 16 miles of paved roadway and 82 acres is our property That's here, fence line to fence line. So um, bring your walking shoes, bring your sunscreen, bring water to stay hydrated, and uh, come out and have a good time. Listen, thank you so much, Mike, for coming by. Thank and, you. Uh, having us here and, and you know accommodating us. Thank you so much. And uh, obviously, I'll be coming back. I think I'm going to come back for that Corvette show. Come see it. I mean, you're, you're, and we're going to do a special media event on the Thursday morning at Corvette between, uh, I believe, 8 and 9 a.m. where you can get in. They're going to actually bring this, I'm going to call it like a hermetically sealed glass box. But uh, Team Chevrolet is bringing this display for their Corvette. And they're going to have two. One's going to be in this display. And um, the other is going to be outside for the walk around to the talk. So it should be pretty cool to see. Can you send me an invite for that? Uh, I'll do something. I'm going to send an email. I have your email. You know, so you send me an invite. Uh, uh, where am I going to put that? Where am I going to put that? Uh, Car CarlisleEvents.com is, uh, is the website. And you go there. Not only can you check out like pictures and details about any one of our shows, you can get tickets online. We actually sell them for a couple of dollars cheaper online than if you walk up. Um, if you want to learn about our auctions, there's info there. We have an app. You can download the Carlisle Events app via iTunes or the Google Play Store. So uh, you have all kinds of access to what we offer, and we try and make it pretty simple for you. And that's C-A-R-L-I-S-L-E. E-V-E-N-T-S. You have two right. E's in the middle. Right. This is the thing I always tell people. So There nice. you go. All right. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you guys Thank very you. much. You got it. We'll be right back.